And this is off the main road into Nikolaisk. Well, in 10 miles. After six hours of driving down Highway 1 and seeing the Alaskan landscape and taking everything in and anticipating what Nikolaisk would soon bring us, we finally turned off uh, the main road onto Nikolaisk Road. Honestly, it felt like any road that you would take in any post-Soviet country from random potholes to bumps that feel like they shouldn't belong there uh, to random construction. It felt very fitting for the journey that we were on. As the road led into Nikolaevsk village, it really felt like we were no longer in the U.S. <laughs> From the way the houses are designed, and the gardens in the yard, and the way the fences are set up and laid out, to the uh, to the way the trees or the base of the trees are painted with that classic white paint that you'll see in Russia and Ukraine. And then there was the church. It was Here it is, the Samovar Cafe. As we got out, Nina, whom you'll get to know very fondly, told us that we were not in the right spot, so we had to drive over to where we were supposed to park. Добрый вечер. Оба говорите по-русски? Ну, стараемся. Да, более менее, да. Да? Здравствуйте, это большое честь. Спасибо вам большое. Это мы очень рады, что Смотрите. Ягоды собираю, а я вот одуванчиковое варенье варю. Это вы уже камеру включили, ну ладно. Здравствуйте, здрасте. А, да, если, конечно, только если вам удобно. Да нет, проблем никаких нет. Хорошо, хорошо. Вы говорите по-русски, вы у Ильи. Да. А вы? На фан. А вы говорите по-русски? Ну, наверное, да. О, ну так это хорошо. Спасибо. Так, ну ладно. Все, тогда, значит, мы пошли смотреть хату. Отлично, вот. Вот и все. Ну, это можете не снимать хату. Потом. Да, как? Потом? Нет, хорошо. Ну, я не хочу. Не снимайте, потом. Да, не... Потом? Да. Потом. Ну, Когда все. хотите. Да. Все, хату не снимайте. Не будем. Ты старенькая. So we didn't film the house. What the goods are. So pretty. Oh. Wow. Now I was not saying wow because I was so impressed with the way the home was furnished, but rather it felt like any uh, Babushka's home you would walk into in Russia or Ukraine, and that was a sight to see. And also smell. Sounds like a Dasha. <laughs> we are in a Dasha. <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> All right, we got our stuff inside. She's bringing us dinner here. We're gonna have it here at our own stolole. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll talk more then. In the meantime, it's kind of hot. I'm gonna open up these windows. Hopefully they do. We'll see. Get some airflow in here. And there are screens. Perfect. Okay. I wish I could translate through the camera like what it felt like to be there at that time. 
seeing Nina wear what any babushka would wear while gardening, to seeing the village firsthand, to uh, being at the dacha and being able to speak Russian with Nina, it was all unreal. She brought all the food in for us, so we have we have it going. We have borscht on the stove right now. <laughs> what? I was like, you do samagon. And she was like, I don't do samagon, but I, I, she was like, I'd love to, but I do do vodka with uh, flavor. And okay, so she okay. She was like, maybe at some, we'll, we'll see if she can mix something up for us. Okay. Gotta <laughs> have, a, have a drink with babushka. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Sick. So we've got dinner mm. on the way. Oh, hell yes. Or, all right, so we've got proper badaniki here. Right? Badmani. Badmani, so yeah. with the potatoes. Um, Come with meat. Oh, so it's badaniki smiyasu. So, so I, I always revert to bananaki with whatever it is. In pelmeni, the, this is specifically, this is, this is pelmeni, yeah. period. Okay. Um, pelmeni, I guess, are it. I forget which one is basically, one, one of the words is basically like a ravioli or like mm -hmm. something like that. And it, it's pelmeni and then you have your varaniki, right? Yeah. And so in theory you could have varaniki with meat, but if they look different and they're formed differently. In Ukraine I always just go with the wording of varaniki to me as well. And that's what I'm used to. So yeah. But anyway, so mainly. we've got proper dumplings with meat. Mm -hmm. Dumplings, just so Dumplings with meat. Yeah. Uh, with some mm -hmm. dill and sour cream on top. It's absolutely wonderful. That's mm. good. True to life. I wonder, like, if she grew any of this ingredients herself, mm. you know? Yeah. Right, like, come in. The beets? She's got that whole garden out there. The beets? The smell of the beets is, like, really in there. It's vibrant. It's It smells really earthy. And oh, that, yeah, it's, it's the earth. That's that's, you know? that's the, the true mark yeah. when you're having real, like, good borscht. Yeah. You smell, there's, like, there is absolutely an earthy smell yeah, to it. absolutely. And that's how you know it's, like, the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> so often when you're having borscht, they take smetana, which is um, sour cream, sour cream, and they put it in the borscht. Mayonnaise also um, sometimes used, um, but in general, yeah, there's some kind of something that goes in there, and then you also have chorne kip. Yeah, black bread. Black bread. Um, and uh, you dip it, you eat it, and it's like a, it's a full experience. It's a yeah. It's a, an experience for your palate. This is really my excuse to let the soup cool down and yeah. not, you know, yeah. burn my taste buds off. <laughs> True though. Yeah. I really feel like we're in like a small village in Russia. I literally feel... That's weird. Like I took one big fat step into 10 years ago where like I would just go to my friend's house or go to mm -hmm. the camp, you know, and experience, you know, right. this style of home furnishment and this is like this smells. was just outside of kiev right yeah i mean that's what i think i mean even there is more of just an american style home you know right, but right. so what comes to my mind is like the lager you know the uh -huh. camp the summer camps you would go to or the okay, winter yeah. camps you would go to um you know on on vacation and like yeah that's real talk like experience cultural mm -hmm. cultural experiences you know there's that Russian proverb, but it's it. It's uh, if if you like our borscht, come tomorrow. Uh -huh. if you like, if you like, if you like our borscht, come tomorrow yeah. because yeah. it sits in the. I don't know if that's actually the exact phrase, but it's like if it if it sits if it, and it sets overnight, mm -hmm. like it's good the first day, yeah. but it'll it'll set and then the, the flavors actually like yeah. seep into it. And they, mm -hmm. they set and it's very good. Yeah. I made I made borscht for my uh, now wife's family when we were in Florida together, mm, mm -hmm. and I made it, and I conveniently got sick like the day after I made it, and I was already just let it said we can't yeah. eat it tonight. We got to let the flavors blend, and I got yeah. sick, and they said we're not gonna eat until you can eat it with us. 
Yeah. Um, so uh, we waited like two more days mm -hmm. before, and I just knew, I was like, I don't mind that one bit because I know the no, flavors yeah. are gonna sit, they'll yep. blend and melt together. And, uh, and it tasted even Well, better. it's good too, because I mean, it's, one, it's a plus two in, in Russia, I'm sure in Ukraine too, when they cook it, like they don't, they don't cook a bowl of it. Yeah. <laughs> they cook like a vat of it. Yeah. And then it just sits there for like, you know, you have it, you have borscht for like a week or two. <laughs> yeah. Just the same borscht. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how, it, I mean, that's how it went. By the time house. you have the last bowl, it's like, it's like ultra salty mm -hmm. and, and Know, it's like mush good. at that point, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's mush and it's like this like rich broth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finally being able to sit down and relax a little bit after a long day of travel uh, to Nikolaevsk and have pelmeni and uh, black bread and borscht. What a delight. It was much needed and felt like a perfect beginning to what would take a very unexpected turn the next day. But more on that in the next episode. Closing in on 10.30 in the evening here. The sun is still going strong. Um, we've had a wonderful dinner. Uh, we've just been settling in a little bit and going through media from today so far. And uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna say good night. Uh, I'm gonna go get some rest. We've got some uh, big plans for tomorrow. <laughs> See y'all then. Until then, like the video if you liked it, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when that next video drops and we'll see you very soon.